Hi everyone, it's Paul Murphy here from ThePremierePro.com and today I want to look at preparing footage for multicam editing outside of Premiere. If I have a lot of footage, I usually prefer to sync everything using Pluralize because it's much more automated. The problem is when you take these into Premiere and want to turn them into multi-camera clips, Premiere wants you to sync them all over again. So how do we turn these into multi-camera clips and reduce doubling up our workload? For this example, I'm using footage from the feature film Beast, which is directed by Tom and Sam McKeith, and it's having its premiere at Toronto Film Festival this year. This is a two camera shoot of a fight scene with multiple external microphones. Now I need to get this sync timeline into Premiere, so I'm just going to select File, Export, and I've got the Premiere Pro option selected. I'll just select Export, and then I'll go into Premiere Pro and select File, Import, and select the Pluralize XML file. And here's my sync timeline. For the sake of being organized, I'm just going to call this Multicam Pluralize and I'll open that up. And the reality is I can make this a multi-cam sequence quite easily. I could just select my pluralized sequence, drag it onto the new sequence item, and I'll just rename this multi-cam edit. And if I go over to my multi-cam edit sequence, you can see there's my clip. I can just right click it and select multi-cam camera enable and also go over to the wrench in my timeline and select multi-camera as my mode. And now I can switch between angles as I'm editing. But there are two problems with doing it this way. The first is that all of my different microphones have been mixed down into a single stereo microphone, which I definitely don't want. And the other is that this isn't actually one continuous take, it's multiple takes. So I'd like to be able to divide this up into multiple clips. So there is just a little bit more work we need to do before we can start cutting with this footage. The first thing I need to do is to create a multi-clip template. And in order to do this, I need to know how many microphones I'll be working with in my timeline. So I'm just going to go over to my multi-cam pluralized timeline and just check the maximum number of tracks. I can see down the bottom here, it's 18. So I want to create a multi-cam clip that has 18 channels coming out of it. Now the quickest way to do this, I'm just going to go to my camera one bin and if I just select this first clip here, I can see it has five mono channels. So if I select four of these, in theory I now have 20 mono channels because four times five is 20 and that's almost 18. So to create my multi-cam clip, I'm just going to select clip, create multi-camera source sequence. For my synchronized point, I'm going to say in points. Keeping in mind that there isn't any sync between these clips, I'm just creating a template at the moment. The really important setting here is down in the audio sequence settings. You want to make sure this is set to all cameras, which I like to think of as actually saying all microphones because that's what we want access to. We want each microphone to have its own individual track. So let's click OK. We now have a multi-camera clip in our project. I'm just going to drag that out of the camera one bin and I'm going to rename this multi-cam clip. Now the truth about multi-cam clips in Premiere is they're actually just glorified sequences. And in fact, if I hold down the command key and double click this clip, I can now actually view the multi-cam clip in the timeline. Since I don't actually need any of this footage, I'm just going to select all, command A and press delete. And that's it. This is now our multi-cam template that we'll be working with. So let's say I needed to create 10 multi-cam clips. I'm just going to select our multi-cam clip here and duplicate it 10 times. And I'm going to open the first multi-cam clip that I just created, again by holding down Command and double-clicking. And I'm going to take that clip and just drag it down to the bottom of my timeline. And now you have two timelines running at the same time. I'm going to select the rest of my multi-cam clips by holding down Shift and then right click, open in timeline. So I now have all of my multi-cam clips open at once. I'll just click this little arrow here to go back to the first clip. And now I want to open up my multi-cam pluralize sequence and I'm also going to just lift this up so I can see all of the clips in the sequence. And now basically all I have to do is select the take that I want and drag it down into the multi-cam clip. And because I like to stay organized whenever I'm doing something manual like this, I like to then just close that timeline so it's done. Then I select the next clip and drag it down 
into the second multicam clip. Again, I'll close and do the same with the third clip. And just keep doing that until you've filled up all of your multicam clips. There is one more thing we need to do before we start editing with these clips now, and that is we set these multicam clips to have 20 channels when in fact they needed to have 18. So I'm just going to select all of my clips and right click them and select modify audio channels. And here in the number of audio clips, I'm just going to type 18 and click OK. Now, if we drag these clips into our edit, you'll see that we have our multicam functionality and we also have access to all of our microphones. Now there is one disconcerting thing going on here and that is that I have my microphones in the timeline and I can't see any waveforms at all. And I'm going to need those waveforms to edit with. There's a very easy workaround to this. I just need to close the project, make sure you save it, and then if you open up your project again, those waveforms will magically appear. So there it is, that's my method for bringing footage synced in Pluralize into Premiere to work with it in a multi-camera workflow. I hope it's been helpful to some of you. If you're looking for more tips like this, please check out my website, thepremierepro.com. Until next time, I'm Paul Murphy, and thanks for watching.